so pleased that you've been with us this weekend. It's been a brilliant conference. And uh, for those of you that are watching, we have just run a terrific Arise and Shine Women's Conference. And our speaker's been Sharon Stone. And uh, Sharon, just give us a short summary of, of how you are ministering to the women. You started on Friday night right through to the Sunday morning. And um, it was an exceptional conference. And uh, just remind those who are watching or let them know about some of the things that you were sharing and, and what your heart was in, in that. Well, we will give you an overview, but it's going to cause you to have to go purchase the CDs <laughs> because it has been one of those type of conferences. And we started off on Friday night. And really, uh, when I do minister, even if it's not a thus saith the Lord prophetic mm -hmm. message, it is something that I believe that the Spirit of God is speaking at that time yes. to that group of people. Yeah. And the message that I carried on Friday night was really a message I believe that God is speaking in the earth right now, that it's our time to go beyond. And Absolutely. we began to hit the beyond in the area of our identity, that mm -hmm. who you were in the last season is not necessarily who you are in this season. Mm -hmm. We began to hit the area of beyond in the area. It's time to live beyond survival and existence to begin to move in that abundant so life. Right. Same also in the area of finances. It's time for, we all know how to tithe, we all know how to give, but there is a generosity that is causing us to begin to feel fulfill scriptures that one day is going to take us to the place where we realize we lend to nations. And so if you either have a big need in your life, it demands a big seed. And I believe that God's giving us miracles to give right now because that we need to be established and set up to be able to go beyond. I think another area that we began to uh, touch on the area of beyond was the miraculous. And I gave an illustration of raising the dead. But I think that so often we need to jump over to talk about raising the dead so people will realize they can lay hands on the sick yeah. and they can exactly. recover. They can minister in any environment that they're at. And we also spoke a little bit of how we have to change the atmosphere rather than letting other people's uh, change the atmosphere and us coming under their authority. Instead, I mean, we rule together with Christ Jesus, so how others come in our authority mm -hmm. has the ability to affect the environment, not just somebody else's authority mm -hmm. to affect the environment. But um, that was based upon a vision I had about the goalposts of God's kingdom being moved beyond the horizon. That's right. And uh, for those of you that are listening to this, we felt like that there was, God was looking for those that would volunteer right now. Are you willing to be ones that when he's moved the horizon, that you'll stand in those places and that you'll be sign, sign ways, mm -hmm. sign markers, that you will be part of those on the road that help others be able to follow after uh, extended goals of God in the earth. And if that's you, I just want to pray for you right now. Father, right yeah. now, in the name of Jesus, we just say they're not just listening to a, a conference that we had, but they're a part of it right now. We release that word beyond to them, that their eyes would be able to see what they could not see, that you will plant their feet where, where they have not been able to go. And Father, that you'll use them as highway way markers to be able to get other people accelerated to your purposes even in a greater way and just like the spirit of the lord spoke this weekend he says it is not beyond your comprehension it is just beyond your words and experience right now so father we release them to the fresh experiences of your spirit in the name of jesus